I love this guy, dude. I just can can we get Dog the Bounty Hunter on stream, please? Can we can we please get the Dog the Bounty Hunter on stream? Please, can we do an interview with Dog the Bounty Hunter? Now, I know most of you here are all a bunch of zoomers and uh, you know, you you were you were little spermies in your dad's nut sack um back when this guy was relevant, but how many of you here have heard about Dog the Bounty Hunter? This is him. This is Dog the Bounty Hunter right here. This is what he looks like, okay? And I think it's fairly, uh, you know, it, I think it's pretty obvious what he does. He, his name is Dog, and uh, he's a bounty hunter. And he had a show on, I believe, MTV, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. He got canceled back before cancel culture was a phrase because uh, he said the N-word uh, a fair amount. Uh, he, he said some racist stuff, and he said the N-word. Now, recently, Lonnie made me aware of this video that just came out on September 1st. It's called Watch Dog the Bounty Hunter React Over Daughter's Claims of Racism and Infidelity. Apparently, his daughter accused him of being racist. You are not going... Why didn't you invite... You are not going to believe something that he says in this video, okay? I haven't seen it yet, but I know what he says. Just buckle down, dude. Just buckle up. It's about to get funny. Better to the wedding. As hard as it is and as heartbreaking as it is. Wait, hold on. Chat, hypers and chat if you're black. Don't, not as a meme. Like if you're actually black in real life. Hypers and chat, okay? Just checking. Just checking. Okay, if you're in chat and you're black, uh, just cover your ears, okay? Cover your ears because you're not, you're not going to want to hear this, okay? We had to make a decision that was very difficult for us. We've been through hell, him and I, in the past three years. I love you. I love you too. And I am not gonna allow our day to be ruined by this nonsense. The accusations are serious and scathing. Dog's daughter claiming he is racist, homophobic, and was unfaithful to her late mother, Beth, who died just over two years ago. Did you cheat on Beth? No. Never. Never. She says he began to have an affair with a friend of my mom's while she was in the hospital. Beth was in the hospital three times. I was there every single second with her. I went. Uh, that, I don't know. I feel like if I was to imagine the kind of guy who'd be cheating on, on his dying wife, I, I feel like Dog the Bounty Hunter would be pretty high up on the list of people that might be a little bit sus in that department, if you know what I'm saying. At home the night before she passed away with her mother and her sisters because they said she won't pass away, dog, with you standing here. So I left. Three hours later, she passed away. So when did I have time? I'm a good man. I would have never done that. 22-year-old Bonnie also claims she was not invited to her dad's wedding because she supports the Black Lives Matter movement. Do you support that organization? Yes, I do. I have never been a racist. I'm 33 and a half percent Apache, but because of over 15 years. <laughs> 33 and a half percent Apache. Years ago, I have an Achilles heel because I used the wrong word. Well, let me ask you about that. that, that moment 15 years ago. Yes, sir. That phone call with your son. Correct. You were using language, and over six times during that call, you used the N-word. Yes, sir. Why were you using that word so You freely? can say it. Well, I thought I had a pass in the black tribe to use it, kind of like Eminem. Who gave you the pass? The brothers. I'm going to let it play. Who are the brothers? I had just, you know, gotten out of prison in 1979 after spending time in 18 months in Texas, and it was probably three quarters from the black tribe. So that was a word that. <laughs> I want to see Vosh react to this, dude. I can we. Dude, next time Vosh is streaming, he better stream today. I know it's Sunday. I'm I'm gonna DM him and be like, bro, you gotta stream. I need you to react to this clip on stream. I fucking 
I want to see every bread tuber react to this fucking this clip. This is hysterical. Okay. <laughs> All right. For starters, okay. No white person in prison can say the N word. Okay. Nowhere in America, not a single prison in America, is there a white guy who can say the N word in there. Okay. There are two words that you can never say in prison. You can't say the N word if you're white. Even if you're Hispanic, you can't say the N-word in prison. You can never do that. And you can't say the word bitch. If you call someone a bitch, you're going to get into a fight. So, I don't believe that. They do, though. I mean, not in front of black people. There'll be a fight, okay? Um, But, like, not true. I can link you a prison channel. Everything that I've seen from people who have been to prison... They have all said, no, you can't say the N- If you're white or even if you're not black, you can't say the N-word around people in prison. No, 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 you can't. You No, no, don't do that. You're going to want to avoid that. And you definitely don't want to call someone a bitch. Um, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> also, I like how he calls them the brothers. Can we rewatch that? I, I just... I love the look on the guy interviewing him's face when he says the black tribe and the brothers gave him a, gave him the pass. Correct. You were using language, and over six times during that it. call, you used the N word. Yes, sir. Why were you using that word so freely? Well, I thought I had a pass in the black tribe to use it, kind of like Eminem. Who gave you the pass? The brothers. Who- Eminem does not have the the pass. I have never met a single black person who said, "Yeah, Eminem can say it." Okay, I've yet to I've never seen a black person say Eminem has the pass. Okay, who are the brothers? <laughs> Wait, can I can I see his face? Wait, brothers. who are the brother? <laughs> brothers. I just you know, it's a look. It's a mix of confusion and and ama- amazement and on his face. He's he's trying so hard not to laugh. The guy doing the inter- I don't even think the guy doing the interview is angry. I think he's just trying not to fucking laugh. <laughs> gotten out of prison in 1979 after spending time in 18 months in Texas, and it was probably three quarters from the black tribe. So that was a word that we used uh, back and forth uh, as maybe a compliment. My past expired for using it, but no one told me that. To say a race. <laughs> I thought I had a pass in the black tribe to use it, kind of like Eminem. <laughs> Hold on, wait. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I'm so mad I didn't pick one of these up for, um... I'm so mad I didn't pick one of these up when they were on sale. I wish I knew who Too Mad was when this is a thing, because... <laughs> Imagine if I had one of these taped to my fucking computer. <laughs> Do you remember this? Do you remember when, when Too Mad sold official N-word passes? I wish I'd bought one of these so I could just tape it to the side of my computer and just have that there. Can you imagine if just like right here I had the Too Mad N-word pass just taped to my computer? <laughs> your, your N-word pass is expired, Whitey. <laughs> name doesn't qualify to make you a racist if you use that word it, if you okay. use that word and you use it in your regular everyday life it makes you a racist i have more let's be real here okay like, we, white people shouldn't be saying the n-word okay let's just let's just keep things simple more black friends than eminem that is the proximity argument like okay. i have lots of black friends so that should make me okay with black people Chapman also denies his daughter's allegations that he used homophobic language. Why would she say that? She's been fed what to say. I have three people that are on my staff that are gay men. Mm -hmm. My daughter's gay, baby Lisa. I don't understand why anybody would ever say that. I hear what you're saying. Uh Remember, proximity does not mean that you're not racist or homophobic. Would I die for a gay man or a black man? I'd lay down my life. I love this guy, dude. I just can can we get Dog the Bounty Hunter on stream, please? Can we 
Can we please get the Dog the Bounty Hunter on stream? Please, can we do an interview with Dog the Bounty Hunter? I, I want it so fucking bad. <laughs> this is the best video on the internet. This is my new favorite video on the internet. This is performative lib shit now. He's doing good PR. He's trying to cover for himself, you know? <clears throat> um... The only experience Xander is going to have personally with prisons is going to be is going to relate to exclusively to Florida prisons and Texas and California prisons are much different. We had prison gang wars. OK, what I'm saying is definitely true of Floridian prisons, considering the fact that. I mean, most of the people that I've known in my life that have been to prison were not back in Florida and they went to Florida prisons. Um, but even outside of Florida, every person that I've like talked to or heard stories and maybe they're lying i don't know or maybe their prison was different but like it seems like there's a pr pretty consistent line of black people non-white or sorry non-black people can't say the n-word in prison and especially you never say bitch in prison or you can say bitch but you never call someone a bitch in prison um like even like yeah bitch let's go out there like you don't even say that right Dog says all this drama started in March after he had a falling out over a potential new TV show with Unleashed TV. In a statement today, the company said, quote, Mr. Chapman's own actions led to the cancellation of his new show. Bonnie is still with the production company and since then has been estranged. Bonnie is being brainwashed. Bonnie told ET Today in an exclusive statement, as far as the idea that I'm being brainwashed, this is the dumbest thing my father has ever said. We all have arguments with our kids that's really difficult and it's really stressful, but he's worth all of it. He wears sunglasses inside, chat. He's, he's wearing sunglasses inside during an interview, okay? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> I don't... Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, geez. This isn't, like, any, like, crazy, like, actual political segment, but I'm probably still going to upload it because it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm just going to name the video Reacting to Dog the Bounty Hunter Claiming He Has the N-Word Pass. <laughs> what did I just jump into? You missed some funny shit, Stone Gentleman. You missed some real funny shit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, follow me on Twitter and all my social media link down below. Join my fan Discord, and if you want to support me financially and you've got the money for it, you can donate, subscribe, or gift subs to my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live. You can uh, donate uh, and uh, and sub and all of that on my um, on YouTube through the join button and super chatting, and you can do the same on Twitch. And of course, you can also support me through Patreon and Streamlabs. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a good one. <laughs>